Okay, so this is the moles, gas, and rates, reaction rates lab. And to begin with, you need about five centimeters of magnesium ribbon. doesn't have to be perfect, you're going to weigh it. So. Okay. 0 0.06 grams. Okay, so to set up the apparatus, we'll just take our 25 mils of our acid and set that aside for a second. Um, I'm going to take my gas collection tube. It's a graduated cylinder, but it's graduated from zero at the top and it counts downwards. So, I'm going to fill it up with water. So this is about 300 mils of water. So I'm just going to fill that up. And it's just tap water, so not a big deal. Then I'm going to take my hose. I'm going to stick about, oh, I don't know, three or four centimeters into the tube and fold it over like that. And then invert that into my beaker. Like this. And there's a little bubble that goes up, but that's okay. Now it's smart to raise it up off the bottom. The reason why is so that you don't get a kink in the hose. Okay. So, now I have to take a little bit of water, and I'll just take water right here. It's just water, tap water. I'm going to wet the hose, or the uh, stopper. So that I get a good seal when I put it on the Erlenmeyer flask. Now I'm going to take my uh, piece of magnesium ribbon and roll it up until it's a little coil like that and put it in there. Now, take a reading from the top of the udiometer. It's called a udiometer when it's a gas collection tube like this. And let me just show you what I mean by that. Now I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a meniscus right at the bottom of the curved part of the water. So I'm going to take a reading. If you put a colored piece of paper behind it, it shows up a little better. So, 5.02. Okay, so I'll wet my cork again because it dried out for a second there. Just to get it all good and ready to seal. Then I'm going to take my 25 mils, which is all measured out, pre-measured of my acid and I'm going to be ready. And this is going to be time zero. As soon as I put the acid in there and the stop stopper on, that's time zero. And so I'll read my reading initially, which we already did. And here it goes. Now push the stopper down real good for no reason. And it starts to produce bubbles. Maybe you can see those bubbles being produced. And so the level of uh, gas in the tube is going down and down and down. Let me just see if I can show you. So there's the level of gas going down. Every 30 seconds I'm taking a measurement and I'll show you the data I get.